luxurious world of Caribbean rum. Ooh, okay. I like where this is going. And we're better to set our sights than the stunning shores of St. Barth's. Talk about a match made in paradise. St. Barth's just screams laid back luxury. And when you think of their dedication to the finer things in life, it's no surprise they become a hot spot for some of the best rum in the world. Right, we've got articles piled high here all about their legendary rum scene. We're talking those swanky resorts, the whole vibe. And this event that's got me ready to book a flight right now, the Caribbean Rum Awards. Oh yeah, the Caribbean Rum Awards. It's like they took everything we love about rum, the taste, the tradition, the craft, and bottled it up into one incredible event. It's become the place to be for anyone who's anyone in the rum world. We're talking master distillers, rum enthusiasts, connoisseurs, everyone's coming together to celebrate. Exactly. And speaking of celebrating, our research mentions the 2023 world's best rum winner, Don Q Reserva de la Familia Sarrell. From Puerto Rico. A fine choice. This aged in charred American white oak barrels gives me serious sip this on a beach vibes, you know. It's that classic profile vanilla caramel that just screams indulgence. Oh, absolutely. But hold on, I saw something in here about rum aging in sherry casks. What's the deal with that? I'm intrigued. Ah, uh, you see, that's where things get really interesting. Using sherry casks for aging rum is a growing trend. It adds this incredible depth of flavor. Really? Oh yeah, you get those classic notes, of course, but the sherry casks bring out these hints of dried fruit, nuts, even a touch of spice. It adds layers of complexity. Okay, see, this is why I love these deep dives, always learning something new. Absolutely, there's a whole world of rum out there just waiting to be explored. So we've got this world-class rum, this beautiful island. Where do we actually get a taste of this St. Barth's rum experience? Take us there. Well, the articles mention a few key players in the St. Barth's rum scene, especially during the Caribbean Rum Awards. One that stand out is Rosewood Laguana Honey St. Barth. Okay, Rosewood Laguana Honey. What's the vibe like there? Imagine this. Pristine beaches, luxurious accommodations, a scent spa. And during the awards, it becomes a central hub for all things rum. Think tastings, events, you name it. I'm already picturing myself lounging by the ocean, a rum cocktail in hand, the sound of the waves crashing in the background. It sounds magical. It's about immersing yourself in the entire experience. Okay, I am sold. Rose with Laguana Honey, check. But I'm guessing it's not the only place to find amazing rum in St. Barts. Not even close. La Bartholomew Hotel and Spa is another one that caught my eye. Oh, what makes them stand out? Well, they apparently go all out for the awards. They even host the VIP welcome party at their rooftop bar. Mm -hmm. Picture this, you're sipping a perfectly crafted rum cocktail overlooking the Caribbean Sea. Stop, stop, it's too much. A rooftop bar with those views. It's basically a rum cocktail ad waiting to happen. Right, and you know, they're serving some seriously good stuff. I would expect nothing less. We're talking about a place that takes their rum very, very seriously. They have a whole cocktail menu designed to showcase those unique Caribbean flavors. Okay, now you're just teasing me. Unique Caribbean flavors. <laughs> Give me the inside scoop. What are we talking about here? Well, you'll find all the classics, of course, but with a local twist. Think fresh pressed sugarcane juice, exotic fruits like guava and passion fruit, even spices like nutmeg and cinnamon, all making an appearance in their rum creations. Okay, my mouth is officially watering. I'm already planning my outfit. But for those of us who might prefer a little more peace and quiet, say, a break from all the cocktail shaking, are there any other options? Absolutely. For a quieter, more understated vibe, Les Ilets de la Plage might be just the ticket. And where would we find this peaceful escape? It's nestled right on St. Jean Beach. They describe themselves as quiet, understated. But don't let that fool you. They're also hosting a special rum event during the awards, which just goes to show you can find amazing rum experiences all over the island, from the liveliest rooftop bar to the most serene beachfront escape. This is what I love about St. Barks. It's got something for everyone. Whether you're there to party with a rum cocktail in hand or unwind with a good book and an ocean view, there's a place for you. But let's get back to the main event, the Caribbean Rum Awards. It sounds like way more than just an awards ceremony, right? It's like a multi-day rum extravaganza. You got it. It's a full-on immersive experience Think master classes, Ooh. led by these world-renowned rum experts. Okay. Where you can really like dive deep into the art of blending and tasting. Um, it or picture yourself at one of their gourmet dinners. Hold on, back up. Yeah. Gourmet dinner, as in with rum pairings. Oh, absolutely. Each course perfectly paired with a different award-winning rum. 
Okay, now I officially have FOMO. It's serious business, these <laughs> dinners. What are we talking, like, menu-wise? Think fresh seafood, local spices, those vibrant Caribbean flavors, all carefully crafted to complement and enhance the nuances of each rum. It's like they took tasting menu and made it specifically for rum lovers. Exactly. It's about elevating the entire sensory experience. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the good stuff. But I have to ask, are there actually opportunities to taste some of these award-winning rums? Or is it all just, you know, fancy dinners and masterclasses? Are you kidding? Tastings are a huge part of the Caribbean Rum Awards. Okay, good. You had the chance to sample rums from all over the Caribbean, from those big name brands to smaller artisanal producers. Okay, now you're speaking my language. There's something so special about discovering those hidden gems, you know, but let's say you really want to get up close and personal with the rum world. Is there a way to like level up at these awards? Great. So you want to go all in. All in. You need to look into their all access VIP package. We're talking exclusive access to everything. Okay, break it down for me. What does everything include? You get private tastings of rare and limited edition rums. You can sit in on seminars with master distillers really pick their brains about the craft. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is very tempting. You get priority access to all the other events, plus a special welcome cocktail party at La Bartholomew's Rooftop Bar. Wait, the rooftop bar with the incredible view? The one and only. Okay, you've got my attention. What else? There's gotta be more. And of course, some pretty sweet souvenirs to take home. Oh, like what? Apparently their event sun shirts are very popular. People rave about them. Sold. I need one of those sun shirts. VIT access it is. But let's be real for a sec, not everyone's going to be staying at those high-end resorts. Right. What about those of us who are, you know, a little more independent? Can you still experience the awards without being tied to a specific hotel? You are in luck. Okay, good. The research mentions WIMCO St. Barth Properties. WIMC? Yeah, they specialize in luxury villa rentals all over the island. And get this, booking with them can actually get you VIP access to the Caribbean Rum Awards. Okay, so you can have your own private slice of paradise and get the full VIP rum experience. Exactly. That's amazing. But hold on a sec, we've got to talk logistics. St. Barth's is infamous for being, shall we say, a little tricky to get to. That's putting it mildly. So how do we even begin to approach this travel conundrum? How does one arrive in style? Leave it to Tradewind Aviation. Tradewind Aviation? They offer these stylish direct flights to the island. Okay, I like the sound of that already. No stressful layovers. No cramped economy seats, just smooth sailing and stunning views all the way there. You had me at no cramped economy seats. Sign me up. Okay, you've officially convinced me. The St. Barth's rum experience, it's happening. Now, I need to know, besides that world's best winner we talked about, what other rum should I be adding to my must-try list? Well, the research highlighted Rum Nicen from Martinique. Rum Nicen. They were the most decorated brand of the 2023 awards. Really? Multiple categories. Oh yeah, they cleaned up. They must be doing something right. What's so special about them? It's all about terroir. Terroir. Martinique is known for this volcanic soil, the tropical climate. It gives their sugarcane a really unique flavor. Ah. In Rum Nicen, they're all about showcasing those distinct flavors in their rums. See, this is what I'm talking about. That next level of knowledge that takes a rum experience from good to unforgettable. Learning about the terroir, the aging, it's like... It changes everything. Exactly. Speaking of unique rum experiences, have you ever tried rum agricole? Rum agricole. Honestly, I've heard the name but couldn't tell you a single thing about it. Fill me in. All right, get ready for a crash course. Most rums, like that Don Q we talked about, they start with molasses. Yeah. You know, that byproduct of sugar production. Yeah, that makes sense. But rum agricole, it's a whole different ballgame. They use fresh pressed sugar cane juice straight yes. from the source. And that's what gives it that unique flavor. So instead of that rich molasses sweetness, what am I tasting with rum agricole? I think grassy, herbal, almost a little vegetal. Okay. But definitely earthier, a lot more complex. Some would even say it's a pure expression of the sugar cane itself. Wow, okay. I'm adding try rum agricole to my to-do list as we speak. Any yeah. recommendations from the awards? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to point me in the right direction. Absolutely. The research mentioned Renegade Rum Single Farm Origin Dunform Wine. It's from Grenada, and it's a perfect example of a top-tier rum agricole. In fact, it won a double gold at the 2023 awards. Double gold. Well, all right then. Consider it added to the list. So, we've got molasses rums, we've got this whole rum agricole thing. 
What else do I need to know to navigate this world of award-winning rum? Well, remember, it's not just about what they use to make it. It's about the whole process. The aging, the blending, it all plays a part. Right, right. And speaking of aging, remember those sherry casks we were talking about earlier? Yeah. You'll find those being used with both molasses and sugarcane juice rums, and they just add this whole other layer of complexity. So it seems like the world of rum is pretty vast. There's a lot to learn. There's always something new to discover. That's what I love about it. But seriously, after this deep dive, I don't just need a vacation. I need a rum education. The best kind of education, I'd say. I want to walk into a place like the Caribbean Rum Awards and actually know what I'm talking about, you know? Like hold my own in a conversation about terroir and aging. It's about appreciating those subtle nuances, the unexpected flavor combinations, all that good stuff. Exactly. It's like going from just enjoying a song to really understanding what went into it. The layers, the lyrics. You start to hear it in a whole new way. Exactly. And honestly, I think it's the same with rum. The more you know, the more you can appreciate it. It enhances the whole experience. And just like music, rum can transport you. It can evoke memories, create these moments of pure enjoyment. Okay, you're speaking my language now. Can we just transport ourselves to that beachside bar in St. Barth's for a minute? Why not? A handcrafted rum cocktail in hand, the sound of the ocean in the background. That first sip, that perfect blend of flavors, the warm breeze, pure magic. Pure magic, and you know what makes it even better? that sense of discovery. There's nothing quite like it. Exploring something new, finding a new favorite, that's what it's all about. Well said. Yeah. So, if you had to choose just one rum to sip on a beach in St. Barth's, what would it be? Ooh, that's a tough one. It is, isn't it? But keep that question in mind. Who knows, maybe your next adventure will lead you to the answer. And on that note, cheers to new adventures, unexpected flavors, and maybe even discovering a new favorite rum along the way.